Manchester lads and welcome back to the channel and today we are back with the Manchester United live match reaction and today boys is the big one it is derby day Manchester United versus the noisy neighbours live from the Etihad Stadium this is huge if you guys do go on to enjoy today's match reaction go down below smash that like button and do subscribe if you're new we are currently 43 away from 4k subs so if you've not done so already go down below smash that sub button and hit the bell whilst you're down there as well to start to have every single video stream anything on this channel now our form over the last few months well since the start of the year really 2024 we've only lost one game and it was the 2-1 defeat the other day versus a Fulham at Old Trafford now that being said it looks like we're doing all right but we're not. We're grinding out these victories. We're not playing too well. And Paul Skull said it best. We are the only team who could win a game 5-0 and still get battered. Whereas on the other hand, City are coming into it. Haaland off the back of five goals. De Bruyne is flying. Rodri's just doing Rodri things. And they are playing some brilliant football. But listen, Derby Day form goes out the window on days like this. And even though we've got a very makeshift side with what looks to be potentially Scott McTominay at, a striker type position, Johnny Evans in the team with maybe Lindelof at left back. This is going to be a big one. And are we going to get a result from this? It might just be the teas I've been drinking lately. It's a bit too much sugar, but I reckon we're going to steal a 1 0 win here. And the only way we can do that is by sitting back, playing on the counter. Because if we go toe to toe with Pep's side, we're going to get bad. So stay back, hold the ball, and counter when you get the chance because they will give us a chance. We just got to take it and maybe try not to let De Bruyne get on the ball too much, please. Without any further ado, let's get to the game. Come on, you Reds. Let's paint Manchester Red. And we're off inside the Ayad Stadium. Tenard taking charge of win his 100th Manchester United game. Massive, massive game. A huge 90 minutes. <sighs> this could be long. Rashford's got a big game to prove here after he went after the press in that interview. Don't let Foden score. Not Lego, Ed. <sighs> The only way we've got a chance of winning is if we defend, defend, defend and counter-attack. Oh, oh no, I'm passing it to Buddy Silva. There's a surprise. Bruno. Go on, Bruno. Go on, Bruno. Play it. He should have played that the sky. Rashford whacks it. Oh, 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 oh. Marcus Rashford. What the hell? Where has that come from? Oh. He said it himself. If you back him, good. If you don't, even better. Oh, yes. I don't know who played him the ball and I don't really care. But a fantastic run from Bruno. Boom from Marcus. Come on. And now we're going to defend for the next 80 minutes and I can't deal with it. <laughs> we are not. Every player is not allowed. Boom. Let's go. Oh, no, no, don't ruin it. Gallo, get rid, please. Oh, don't start with this confidence stuff. Uh-oh. No, not Foden. Not Lego, Ed. Casa. Well done, nice save. <laughs> he really had to control that then. You can see him about to jump up and celebrate. One day you're going to get a t-shirt with his name on it. Ha! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No, no, no. no. That's oh. not Oh my god, Scotty. No. Rashi! No! Oh, oh my god, see? He's shit. He got one good shot. Everyone thinks he's a superstar. Two chances he's at now. That's a big chance, that. VAR! His arm was here! If they give that. Mate, his arm's here! Johnny Evans! Good to see United. Take me home, United Rules. Oh, thank you so much, Bran. You gorgeous Frenchman. Oh, call me Manu. Oh, thank you. He's down there. Yeah. Hey, that's Ed, Brett. That's oh. Ed. Thank, thank you. I'm going to say, that was right in the face. Call me Manu, take a bow, putting his heart and soul and his face <laughs> on the line. That's another good ball. Foden back. Stick. Uh, oh, 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 how's he missed that? Still got another minute and a half of this. <laughs> I really want half time. I need a tea bad. That's just good. Stop! Oh, no, the is right there. Ref was clapping like he didn't have his heart in his mouth. Find the whistle, please. Ref. Okay, okay, there we go. 
half time, and I don't know if I can say Manchester United are winning 1 0 or Manchester United are surviving 1 0. But either way, it is 1 0 to United, and oh my god. And we're off for the second half, and it's going to be a very, very long second half inside the AAD, somehow surviving with a 1 0 lead at the moment. But they have just said City have scored in their last 54 consecutive home games, and I tell you what, the way that first half went, it's going to be 55 after this. Can we hold on? Massive 45 minutes coming up in the Etihad. Johnny wanted Linden off back and he's got his choice. Phil Foden, big block Johnny again. Oh my God. Harlan's gonna turn, Harlan's gonna turn. Get up, get up. Doku, big block. Oh, oh, oh. Fingertip saved by the keeper. They know if they just play their game, they will score. Cause we ain't keeping a clean sheet. Rashi, look at Rashi. Oh, no way, Rashi, uh, please. We'll oh, That's a push. No. Rodri. Phil wants it. Phil gets it. Rodri wants it back. He's not. He's going to let one off instead. What a goal. What a strike. Great goal. Oh, it's 1-1. One, one. To be fair, it's what they deserve. <sighs> that is a goal and a half, to be fair. Two absolute screamers here. It's 1-1. One, one. It's nothing short from what they deserve. I said if they score from a worldie, you can't even be mad. And to be fair, that was exactly that. Foden covers inside, Lindelof had no chance, Onana had no chance to be fair. That's just a worldly strike and it's a well-deserved 1-1. And I said it before the game, if you're off a mini draw, I'm taking that and running. 17th minute of this game, Young Camboala is coming on, the French international for Johnny Evans. Johnny Evans has been brilliant this game, by the way. Get on side, get on side, get on side, Garner! He was off then, to be fair. Bruno... Plays into Cobby. Cobby, great ball! No, he's on! Oh, he's on! That's great goalkeeping. He's got the. He was onside, he dropped back. That's, that's, that's great goalkeeping, that's never a foul. It's never a foul. Look, he's, he's, he, look he came just back onside. There. No, look, the line, he's onside. This is. He's got the ball here. That's, he's got the ball. He's got the ball. He's got the ball there. The, you see the ball move. Yeah. He's got the ball. Yeah, he just got the it studs up. Uh, Anywhere else in the pitch, that's a free kick. It studs up. The studs are up, but he has got the ball there. Oh, no, it's frozen. He's going to... What's the Nana doing? Oh, that's a tough one to take. I saw a little deflection there. I hit that bounce off something. Yeah, I know. Apart from Onana, is anyone at fault? Oh, oh. Don't do this, don't do this. Look at Silver, why is he shot? He should have played Silver. He should have played Silver. Shut up. Nah, he should have played Silver. <laughs> oh, Amrabat is rubbish! Amrabat is so bad! What was the point in signing him? He is rubbish, he is perfect! He's a waste of a transfer fund! Erling Haaland makes it free, it's game over, and Amrabat genuinely might be one of the worst transfer signings we've ever made. People go on about Anthony because he's all this money, but at least he was good last year. Amrabat has never once had a good game, scratch that, a good half of football for Manchester United. And it's 3-1, game over, and I was so excited 20 minutes ago, and now it's just same old, same old. Can't be arsed. Oh, just by the whistle. There we go, full time, and Manchester City managed to win 3-1. And you can't say it's not deserved. They absolutely battered us. We managed to hold on. And to finish it defensively, we played pretty well there. And I hate to say it, Onana actually had a very, very, very above average for his standards hour of football there. First half particularly, second half, it all went downhill for everyone. And to be honest with you, that's a big game because with their charges coming at the end of the year, that might be the last Manchester derby for a good couple of years while they're getting relegated to the League 2. Big, big game. Unfortunately, could not get big three points. And full focus now on the FA Cup. But that's it from me. Take care.